Hi, everybody. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about my lung transplant. And I'm going to talk to you about the decision to get lung transplant, and why I made that decision, and all of the crazy intricacies that go into getting a lung transplant. Uh, and I'm also going to talk to you guys about just everything transplant related, but I'm not going to do it all in this video. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm about to get the hiccups, and I really don't want to get the hiccups. Okay. We're fine. Mine doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, and I'm making this video pretty much to just do like an introduction, and then also to ask you guys what you think, and if you think this would be a good idea. But I'm thinking of making a series um, following this whole process with transplant, and keeping everyone kind of... I guess up to date. I mean, I know that's kind of presumptuous, you know, to think that everyone like wants to be up to date, but I feel like you might because it is fascinating and it's fascinating on an emotional level and on a physical level, like on a science level, it's fascinating. I think the whole process of, of going from being someone who was born with a 10 year life expectancy and has lived their entire life believing that they were going to die in their early 20s or teens, and then all of a sudden having everything change in the course of a year where now all of a sudden they might live a normal person life. That brings up so much bizarre mental gymnastics. Like, you're, there's like, it's like a... My brain the past six months has just been pretty much every breakdown that... I have been needing to have for like five years happened all in the course of one year so I'm not gonna say it's been fun but I've definitely learned a lot from it you know I mean um, I'm getting there you know I think I'm I'm starting to kind of see a way through all of this um, and I feel like I have a lot to share you know and, and I know it's corny and and I never want to be the a sick person that just talks about sick person things you know because it, the, there's something that happens when people hear about extreme life circumstances right like when they hear about people nearly dying and then surviving or people going through really really severe trauma and then making it through and then all of that or when people talk about anything sick related i experience this all the time with reading comments and all that is people have a way of distancing themselves from it right so like very few people can relate to what it feels like to be like slowly suffocating all of your life and needing new lungs. That's not a normal person issue. Thank goodness, you know, like <laughs> that's a that's a specific kind of like there's only a handful of us that really understand that. And um so I think it's easy talking about my experience and then having everyone be like, wow, that's so crazy, like I feel so bad for ever feeling bad because of what you're going through. And I hate that. I hate that so much. And I, I just feel like I'm not even going to go into a rant about that right now. But, like, the point of, for me at least, I don't, I'm not speaking for other CFers, but for me, the point of sharing everything that I'm going through isn't to, to, to make you all feel as if your lives are not as equally insane as mine is because maybe on the surface they're not but fundamentally we are all in the exact same boat with this you know like I've been just as depressed as anyone else I have wanted to I wanted deeply to not live and I've been deeply lost and deeply scared and and I still am a lot of the times you know that's just a that's just a kind of innate quality to being alive and I think what makes talking about transplant or CF or death or any of that kind of stuff, the stuff that I choose to talk about, what makes it interesting for me isn't the health stuff necessarily. It's not the extremeness of it. It's the way it kind of represents something that we're all having to go through. And like, I'm sorry, I apologize because this video is going to be corny. I have no other way of explaining it without getting a bit cheesy, but like, Transplant for me isn't really just about getting new lungs. It's not about being healthy. It's not about fixing myself. 
for me, transplant is about what it means to like choose to live, not in an ignorant way. I don't believe that once I get lungs and once I'm better that everything else is going to be better. I don't believe that it's going to save me or fix me or make me any more of the person that I want to be. I think that getting new lungs for me is, is like a sort of representation for everyone of what it means to choose to be here on this planet and to choose to try, like to try to show up and to be conscious and to be aware of ourselves and to try and actually give something of ourselves. To not spend our whole lives just resentful of being alive. Because it's so easy to be resentful of being alive. And I get it. Like, I completely get it. I, it's, it's so hard not to fall in the trap of seeing that every single thing you choose to do in life, no matter which way you go, and what you choose to do, there's always going to just be this, this innate pain in life. You know, there's always going to be someone or something that's going to come and yank the rug out from under your feet. No matter how healthy you are, no matter how rich you are, no matter how perfect your life may seem or how much you've worked for what you have, there's always something right around the corner that is going to come and make a fool out of you. And that's, that's life, and it's terrifying. And one of the things I've found that's the most difficult about choosing to get new lungs is just this... It opens up this, this like, well of, of want in me. Like, I want to be alive. And I, and I want to, I want to have the time and I want to have the energy to actually make something of myself. Give something, like, make something I think is genuinely valuable, not just something to make myself feel better or to make other people think, oh, wow, she's great. Like, I want to actually give something and and that's really scary because once you want something then it opens you up to just that huge fear of failing like the moment you admit that you want it then you have to admit that you don't want to fail and you have to look at how painful it would be if you fail and how painful it would be to lose it and so there's just so many different layers to this like it's not just about lungs it's it's a it's a layered dip, you know? You got the guac, you got the beans, you got the salsa, you got the cheese. It's just <laughs> and so I really want to be able to talk to everyone and kind of share the experience of what it's like going through this because it's it's fascinating to me. And um and I think it's it's all very human and it's all very real and it's all very scary and and I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know if, like, what's going to, I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow or how I'm going to be tomorrow or you don't know when the call is going to come or you don't know what the outcome's going to be and, and there's so much up in the air and yet you have to, you have to actually look at your life like you might live it for the first time ever. And so... So I'm thinking of making a little series of videos for as this whole process goes along, and I wanted to see what you guys thought about that. For now, I guess the first video would be like explaining explaining why I get hiccups all the time, um, explaining all of the medical details of transplant and like what it actually. Um, what the actual game plan is and um, and all of that uh, and then from there I guess you guys could come along with me to all of the all the crazy appointments and testing and uh, all the emotional stuff that comes up and and then hopefully be there with me in the hospital room the moments before I go in so that would be cool I would like to actually share that with you guys but uh, I want to know that you'd be into it, because I don't want to, like, make it if everyone's kind of creeped out by that, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of a creepy thing to go through someone's lung transplant with them. Or if it will just be overshare. I don't know. So, I just thought I'd put that out there. Um, just tell me what you guys think, and uh, I will make another video very shortly.